This is the intro to this transition tutorial. Hey guys, welcome to today's quick slide transition tutorial. I already have 4 videos on the timeline. Have a look at program monitor. I am gonna play these videos. As I am gonna apply the same effects to all these videos. So I am gonna select all of these videos. After that, now we can head to the effects. Search for the transform effect and apply this effect to all these highlighted videos. Now click on this area to deselect all of the videos. Now select this video and go to the effect controls. Under the transform effect, we have to set the scale value to 110 because I'm gonna move the video from left to right. So it is essential to zoom the video to increase its frame size, then the program monitors frame. Uncheck this box, set the shutter angle value to maximum 360. In this way, we can add some natural motion blur to this transition. Now drag the time indicator to the last frame of this video and set a keyframe by clicking on this stopwatch of this position. Now move the time indicator to the left 4 frames and click on this icon to add another keyframe. Now we can decrease the X value of the position to move the video to the left horizontally a little bit in the program monitor. If you wanna know more about what is the fastest way to change keyframes value then you can watch this tutorial. I'll put the link in the description. Ok here is an issue. Because of this black area, we can understand the edge of the video. To fix this issue now, we can click on this little setting icon and select the transparent secret. So it will be easy to adjust the position of the video of this keyframe. Now go to the next keyframe by clicking on this icon. Increase the X value of the position to move the video to the right side so that the left edge of the video and the left edge of the program monitor's frame are in the same place. Now right click on this keyframe and make it ease out. If you pay attention, you will see the last frame of the video is not under the effect. So what I am gonna do is, I am gonna select both of the keyframes and move them forward a single frame. So this way we can make this issue get fixed. Ok let's go to the next part of this video. First of all select this video then go to the effect controls. Now move the time indicator to the first frame of this video. Now we can set the scale value to 110 because we have to move the video a little bit. Now uncheck this box and set its value to 360 degree to get natural motion blur effect to this transition. Now go to the position and add a keyframe at the first frame of this video. Now move the time indicator to the right 4 frames based on this 25 frame sequence and add another keyframe. Now decrease the X value of the position to move the video to the left a little bit horizontally. Ok now go to the next keyframe after that increase the X value of the position to move the video to the right a little bit and have a look at program monitor to see the changes. So it is time to smooth this animation so in this case what we are gonna do is we are gonna right click on this keyframe and make it ease in. Now delete this space and we have our first transition which is left to right quick slide transition. In this portion of this video we are gonna make the next transition which is up to down slide transition. Now select the video and go to the effect controls and drag the time indicator to the last frame of this video. After that go there and change the scale value to 110. Now blank this box and change the shutter angle value to 360 degree maximum to get natural motion blur effect. Now click on this stopwatch to add a keyframe of position at the last frame. Move the time indicator to the left 4 frames and add another keyframe. Now decrease the Y value of the position to move the video to the up and don't let the lower edge of the video inside the program monitor's frame. Now go to the next keyframe and increase the Y value of the position to move the video a little bit down. So we have made this animation by adding a couple of keyframes for the first part of this second transition. So we have to make this transition smooth so I am gonna right click on this keyframe and make it ease out. Here is the same problem like the previous one so what I am gonna do is I am gonna select both of the keyframes and I am gonna move it to the right a single frame to get fixed it. So guys now we are almost end of the video so I am gonna select this video clips and go to the effect controls. Now move the time indicator to the first frame. Then go down and uncheck this box and make the shutter angle value to maximum 360 degree. And I'm gonna change the scale value to 110. And click on this stopwatch of this position to add a keyframe at the first frame. After that, skip 4 frames and add a keyframe. Now back to the first keyframe by clicking on this icon. Now decrease the Y value of the position to move the video to the up. Now go to the second keyframe and increase the Y value of the position. Then the video will move to the down. In this part of this tutorial, I am gonna right click on this keyframe, then select is in. 
now we can delete this space and finally we have got our second transitions which is up to down slide transition so these two are effortless transitions but totally different from other transitions which can make your videos perfect so guys thanks for watching this tutorial you can watch other tutorials on this channel i'll see you in the next video